So now on the show, I want to take a look at a brand new film that is out in cinemas now called Muru. It is uh, a New Zealand film, and it's um, from a director that I've been excited about for, for quite a while now. His name is uh, Tirepa Kahi, and you might remember a few years ago, I really, really liked a film that he made called Mount Zion. And um, since then, he's been a writer on things such as uh, Hunt for the Wilder People, and he's been, really been making a name for himself. So I've kind of been excited to see where his career would go um, with his next film. Well, his next film is Muru, which is out now, which I guess is kind of a a crime thriller, but it's also a drama and a little bit of an action flick as well. Um, it's inspired by an actual event that happened um, in New Zealand where a, a Taho um, camp or village was mistakenly thought to be a a terror cell and the police are uh, raided with uh, tragic consequences now in this film Muru um Muru is not a reenactment of what happened on that day Muru as it says in the film is a response to what happened that day and it revolves around um a police sergeant called Taffy who's a community police sergeant um uh, in a Taho community now, um, he does what he can um, to, to to work with the with with his people, but to also um, keep peace. He has a great um, uh, sidekick called Blake, uh, played by Rhea Parkey, um, and they do what they can to keep this community um, safe. They have the the odd person that goes off the rails, such as Rusty, played by um, Paraki Merritt McDonald, and. In the start of this film, we see Rusty coming back, a troubled young teenager, angry at his parents and angry at the police after he spent time in incarceration. And they're just trying to get him uh, used to being back in uh, this environment and to try and get him back on track. Now, at the same time, um, a kind of... Uh, I'll call him the smoking man because he's uh, he's not referred to very often in this film um, by name, but he's kind of a character who um, is planning a major raid uh, on this Tahoe community in the valley, and uh, he believes that they are a threat to um, to New Zealand and are a terror cell. Um, he believes that their leader uh, Tame Iti, who plays himself in this film, um, is a terrorist who is planning. On taking down the New Zealand Prime Minister. Now he puts together a team um, led by Gallagher, played by Jay Ryan, who um, start a plan on raiding um, this this valley, this community, um, and they believe that Taffy is actually one of the terrorists, which couldn't be further from the truth. Now, when Taffy gets wind of what is happening, he probably doesn't act the way that he should. Um, he's quite um, he's quite aggressive back towards them, but that's because of what he's being accused of, and you can kind of perfectly understand that. Um, he is then tries to make a deal where the raid will happen on a Saturday when the kids will be kept out of harm, because aside from being a police officer, him and Blake also drive the school bus, so they have quite a close relationship with a lot of the kids in the community. But unfortunately... Um, Gallagher is told to go in early, and the results are, are quite catastrophic. Um, I think this is a film that a lot of people should go and see. Um, this is one of those films where you you come out of this film feeling embarrassed that you didn't know about the circumstances that, that led to this film being made, um, but you also learn how difficult it is, um, not only for the Tahoe people, but for people like Taffy, who are working almost on both sides. Um, he's proud of his people, um, but he's also trying to protect his people, but at the same time is made feel like an outsider by the rest of the police force. Um, this is an amazing film. The performances in this film are out of this world. Um, for a lot of people out there, this is not a dumb action film. This is not the kind of film that you can go into and leave your brain at the door. You will do a lot of thinking while you're watching this film. The action sequences are absolutely fantastic. Um, the entire time you're watching the film, you just uh, you have your heart in your mouth. 
you you start to like these characters and you don't want anything bad to happen to them and there's suspense all the way um through with this film this is a a brilliant film for for keeping the suspense there i think it's an important film for people to see but it's also an entertaining film as well so you're not going to go into this film and feel like um it, it's a history lesson it does feel like you're watching a, an action thriller as well so i encourage a lot all of you out there listening to go and see maru i think you will really really like it i'm giving it four out of five